nafasi kwa yule aliyeanguka akapata kuiduka tena kama mti uliokatwa ukaanguka ukachipuka mara ya pili usikate tamaa uanguka kwa dhambi Yesu bado yuko hai kwetu mtazame yeye aliyetukumbua dhambi hajabadilika kamwe kumbe nafasi kwa yule aliyeanguka akapata kuinuka tena kama mti uliokatwa ukaanguka ukachipuka mara ya pili usikate tamaa uanguka kwa dhambi Yesu bado yuko hai kwetu mtazame yeye aliyetukumbua dhambi hajabadilika kamwe Joni kongo tuseme zande wangu bona mwani hapambi nilie waumba na wale wana upungufu wenu wote nipende mizigo yangu ya dhambi iliyo mizito ni waepushe na kifo mimi hapa Mungu wenu nimewaahidi uzima wa milele Joni kongo tuseme zande wangu Bona mwani hapa mie nilie waumba na waile wana upungufu wenu wote nipende mizigo yangu ya dhambi iliyo mizito ni waepushe na kifo mimi hapa Mungu wenu nimewaahidi uzima wa milele
And welcome back to Sunday Best right here on KTN Home. It's good to have you. Thank you for setting time aside to be able to catch this conversation. Last week we spoke about uh, cults, old cults, secret societies. Very interesting conversation. And I hope that uh, you were able to learn something and that was a, a blessing to you. We are, we are living um, in an era where there is so much information. You wake up to information. Yani, it is everywhere. By the time you're getting to work, for example, you've seen so much from the phone to the billboards, you know, to people speaking. And even people are speaking out of the information they've been able to receive. Mm. So it is everywhere, everywhere. And in Konambia Charity the other day, you know, we, uh, no, we're not we. <laughs> there was an age, uh, the Industrial Revolution, the Agrarian yeah. Revolution. Mm. Now it's the information age. It's different. Yeah. And there's so much information. Mm -hmm. How do we handle the information we get? And mm -hmm. part of uh, why we have a lot of, mm, we're talking about, uh, I mean, we are engaging a lot into matters mental health. Mm -hmm. It's because of the information. So much. Probably we had so many sick people then, but we, you know, we didn't just know it was mental health. So mm. today that's the topic we are getting to dive into. Okay, yeah. Charity, are you excited Absolutely. about this? Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am excited and of course looking forward to, to learn more about, about it. Right. Um, simply because um, a while ago, people <coughs> would mention mental health and it would seem like, Okay, so the next thing Unasemani and the mother like it was viewed <laughs> as if you mention anything mental health, Unasema mini mwenda wazimu. But that, now <laughs> that's the word. Yeah. Yeah. So now it's 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 people are starting to understand more about it, more mm. about what does it mean about mental health. And I'm excited today we have a guest in studio. Her name, okay, she will introduce herself. <laughs> but yeah. interestingly, she ha she wears many hats. That's true. So she's an ICT officer at Jaquad. Mm, she's she, a lecturer. She's a lecturer. She's a transformative life coach. Yes. She has a ministry with a youth called Grace to Grace to Youth. Grace to Youth. Yeah. She and she's a mom of two teens, grown yeah. teens. And it's amazing to have you here. Right. You're very much welcome to the to the show. All right. She's also a TV host in one of uh, oh, yeah. the Christian TV channels. Wow. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's good to have you. Karibu sana, Esther Wangeshi. Minister Esther Wangeshi. Thank you so much, Anthony. Yeah. Thank you so much, Charity. Mm -hmm. It's such an honor to be here. Yeah. And uh, I bless God. Mm -hmm. I'm Amen. honored to be here. Right. Yes, yes. Great. It. Um, you know where I come from? Yeah. The... the <laughs> Uh, every every market had a madman. <laughs> every market had a madman. Oh, natoka was. Ata kwenu. Every market had a madman. Mm. But then that was the perception mm. of a mental, the mental situation. Mm. And so later on when we, we, we got to hear about mental health, mm. that person is uh, the person we thought about mm -hmm. every time we had about mental health. Yeah. But it's beyond that. Yeah. Uh, there are milder situations. Yeah. And so probably, well, let's begin there. Yeah. From your own understanding and mm. experience, what, what is this? What is mental health? Um, thank <coughs> you, Anthony. I believe mental health is the ability to be able to handle situations mm. and still remain sober. Mm. in your mental state, in your mind, that you are not faced with a crisis and then it throws you off, that right. you cannot handle it. So it's that ability to handle life issues mm -hmm. and still remain sane. Right. Yeah, from that word of, of insane, you know, when, yeah. uh, when you're mad, as you said, in every market there used to be a mad person. Mm. Yeah. Uh, we, you know, we used to regard them as insane. But in this case, when you're talking about mental health is that your mind is stable enough your mental faculties mm. are stable enough to go through life situations to go through issues and still come out on the other side right. sober and uh, still healthy i would look at it also like um, the way we our bodies are in in life coach there is what we call the wheel of life mm. and the wheel of life looks at different issues and referring to them as health your physical health 
-hmm. relational health, mm -hmm. financial health, mm -hmm. and mental health is there. Right. So it is how well your mind is, mm -hmm. how well is your financial state, how are you handling your financial, uh, you know, situation, situation yeah. your relationships, how healthy are you even as a, as, a, as a person when you're relating with others. But now one thing I want to note is that I realized all these other things we talk of finances we talk mm. of relationship mm. we talk of even family everything else there's a mind element to it mm. uh -huh. there's a mental element mm. to it uh, so you'll find somebody talking about what is your spiritual mindset what is your money mindset mm. what is your relational mindset because everything in it it is as i think I'll behave mm. and I'll relate. Mm. So right. if my, fac my mind is not healthy, uh, I will not relate to you coming from a point of how I perceive myself. Mm. Yeah. I will not relate well with you. Mm. Because first, as I'm looking at myself, I'm thinking the things I'm not happy about myself could be the ones that you're seeing. Mm. So that makes me not respond well in a right. relational way. And all that is mental health. Mm. Right. Yeah. At what point would you say, um, if I evaluate myself, or yeah. if you evaluate someone, yeah. would you say that okay, they are mentally not healthy, because you said it's a relationship. Yeah. It's like financial uh, health. Yeah. Or any other health, we say it's a relationship. So yeah. at what point would you say now this one we can say this person is um, mentally unhealthy? Okay. Now, uh, Charity, we have different types of mental issues. Mm -hmm. We have panic and uh, anxiety. Mm -hmm. Anger is actually one of them. Oh. Right. We've been having frequent cases of depression even among the teens, even among young children. Mm. Yeah. They are going through depression. <coughs> yeah. So uh, we also have uh, disorders. Mm. OCD is there, mm. you know, uh, being paranoia wow. where... Uh, you know, even suspicion, the one we are told, if you, if you, your eyebrows tweak like this, yes. it, that is also a disorder. Wow. When you're living in suspicion, it will affect your mind. Mm. It becomes a religion that you believe that eventually affects your mind. Mm. Fear is also a disorder. As I oh. talked about panic, uh, panic attacks and mm. uh, anxiety. anxiety. So at what point would I say that this person mm. needs uh, um, help? Uh, help. Right. It is when it is leading to harm when you're uh -huh. harming yourself, uh -huh. when your mind is telling you, throw yourself maybe in the mm. river, mm. And, uh, and, uh, or maybe uh, there's that element of commit suicide, kill right. yourself, Just, yeah. or you're as good as nothing. Mm. Because l l let me say this, you see depression, mm. it starts by when you start feeling low, sad for no reason, you entertain it, that mm. sadness, mm. you're just down, down. Before you know it, it becomes, uh, I'll call them what the scripture calls them, the strongholds. Uh -huh. Right. It becomes a stronghold. Yes. Now, dealing with a stronghold is different from dealing with just a small thought, mm. Mm. something mild. A stronghold is something that is fortified. It is built. Cultivated. Cultivated like. over time, mm. growing up. And so... Um, for me, uh, as I just answer you first, mm. for me is that if your mental state is telling you you are not good enough, harm yourself, mm. cut yourself, kill yourself, mm. and you're having suicidal thoughts, right. then that needs uh, help. help. Right. It needs help. Right. Yeah. But, but let's go back. Mm. Um, even before that, yeah. and sometimes we get to a place where when it gets to extreme situations, yeah is when we run to seek for help. Mm. Yeah. But there are places also that look very mild. Yeah. And they're actually signs or triggers yeah. that something is happening yeah. that is not right. Yeah. Where do we need to start thinking about ourselves and thinking here there's a problem before we even get to extreme situations? Yeah, uh, thank you, Anthony. <coughs> you see a case of uh, a withdrawal. Yeah. You don't want to relate with, with people. people. Right. You don't want to bathe. Mm. You are okay in a dark place. Mm. You know, you just want to stay in the in the house yeah. and not even open the curtains. Right. Simple basic things that we know you wake up in the morning, brush your teeth mm. and, and bathe and change your clothes. Mm. 
you know uh, when when you're 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 getting to the state of the, now you need help those things see, uh, uh, stops being important yeah. so and then you start with the drawing from people mm. and that's why people are being advised check out yeah. on somebody yeah. uh, I will share something and as I was thinking about this I remembered uh, some time back and let me say this Anthony mm. this is a lifestyle thing it is something you need to know your triggers yeah. You need to know, at what point am I going too far? Mm -hmm. At what point do I need to, 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 to seek, seek help? help right. um, at and and you, please share your story if you, yes. if you will. Mm. One time uh, I found myself actually looking back at my life, mm. back in the days. Mm -hmm. uh, well, nowadays we hear suicidal thoughts, you are depressed. Mm. Even thinking, planning how you're going to do it, you're thinking it's, uh, you're, you're depressed. I went through all that. Mm. At some point, I, I hated myself. I, I saw nothing good in myself. But can I surprise you? Mm. Nobody could tell that on the outside. Mm. Actually, wow. I used to dress very well. I used to be so smart. Mm. You know, you no, step out? Yes, yeah, step out. And, um, but when I step out, is go somewhere and just keep quiet. In the office, I'm quiet. But I'm very smart. Mm. But in me, I used to see uh, I'm not worth. I'm not good. Actually, I felt so empty. Because mm. one of the things also about mental health, and especially those who get into depression and into substance abuse, mm. is because there is a void in them. Right. There is a void in them. Let me say this, Charity. Mm. Everybody needs love. Everybody wow. needs love and yeah. everybody needs hope. Mm. Those two things, they address mental issues. Love and hope. And hope. By the way, I think just for clarity, this conversation is not the, the generic scientific mm. conversation about mm. mental health. Mm. Because this is a gospel program, we want to have a good blend mm. of understanding mental health, but also from the spiritual point of view. Yeah. How do we find help? Yeah. So please go ahead. Yeah. So at this, this, there are these days that uh, Monday to Friday I'm going to work, eh? but I get to the house and I'm thinking, oh, Esther, you're so useless. Mm. Esther, you, you, I don't even want to reach to people. And let me tell you, you look at the phone, somebody calling you. Do you know later what you'll say? Mm -hmm. I'll not answer. I was busy. You're not busy. You didn't want to talk. Mm. Mm. Or people invite you somewhere. You're like, no, I'm going somewhere. You don't really And there's no people. way you're going. Mm. You're going home to mm. be with your, with your children. Mm. But even these children don't know that you are so empty. There mm. was such a void in me. And uh, many times I contemplated uh, even suicide. Yeah. Mm. I contemplated it. Now you see, this, the, the days we are in different times now. Yeah. Right. At that time, maybe if somebody got to know what I was going through, uh, what was going through my mind, and I was drinking a lot, by the way. Mm -hmm. And one thing I would say is that um, I did that in a span of two months. Wow. That's a short time. Yeah, I did that in a span of two, uh, two months. Why? Because I wanted to drink, go home and sleep, and forget about my problems. Mm. Yeah? But when the turnaround came, that's why I told you, when we look at it spiritually, it's because there is a void in us. Mm. I was seeking something mm. that I was Deeper. looking for yeah. in, in substance, mm. that I was looking for in people to affirm me, mm. you know? And when... That when I embraced uh, Christ in me and he started walking in me, I didn't go to any therapist. Mm. I just found my thoughts started changing. Mm. My, my, my thinking started changing. changing. I'll tell you one incident. I passed in front of a mirror a and I say to myself, that person there is so beautiful. Mm. And I just heard a voice tell me, go back and look at that person. Mm. And I looked at that person. Mm. I saw it was me and I said, oh, it's me. And I, I had the voice tell <laughs> me, yes, that is who you are. Uh, you're beautiful. Yes. Yeah. So then I started having this constant walk. Uh, I didn't walk with anybody. I was work, walking with God. Yeah. Mm. You know, when the thoughts are not right, uh, why are you thinking like that? Mm. that I, by the way, I didn't know much about the Bible. I didn't know much about prayer. I used to do Our Father who art in heaven. Mm. And I used to talk. You see the way we're having a conversation? Yes. As we are walking, I used to have conversation thinking he's there with me. Mm. I'm feeling like this. I don't like myself. And I could get those affirmations. Those affirmations. So to everybody who is going through mental uh, state, there is a void. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, we need to take a, a, a break, then yeah. we'll continue. Yeah. Uh, I'll want us to understand one thing. Yeah. What pushes people yeah. mm. into this kind of a situation? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. If yeah. you want to share your experience, what pushes you there? Yeah. But when you're there, yeah. where do you... There are those people like you yeah. who found help with just connecting to Christ. Yeah. Mm. There are those who need to talk to someone. You yeah. need to speak it's to true. a psychologist. No, so where do we find help yeah. in, all, in, in all that? Probably yeah. we can start, then we take a short break, we continue. Okay. W where does it start from? Well, What are some of the things that we go through now that can push us mm. to that place? Anthony. Laws? Unga is how much? <laughs> <laughs> that is enough Shukari, cause. Shukari, convention is Shukari. Yes, that's, that's one thing enough that will take, uh, send a parent mm. to depression, right. to fear, to anxiety mm. and another thing would be uh, relationships that are not working mm. yeah. marriage that is not working yeah. Yeah. you know and uh, families there is a crisis uh -huh. kids that are not uh, disciplined we're yeah. having issues yeah. and and let me say it is two way mm. don't just bl blame the child the mother because there is the trauma aspect right you know and and um, being too much, I always say, uh, wilderness situations and episodes mm. leave wounds. Mm. You know, if you've been in a situation where you are, you're in so much pain, mm. you're going through abuse, you're going through lack. Mm. So even when you shift to the promised land, the first thing that God does is deal with your mind. Because mm. your mind there, you will still carry the same things mindset you went. Mindset from you, the previous experiences. Yeah. Now you mentioned something very important that you've seen even um, kids or even teenage yeah. teenagers um, getting to a place or a point of they want to commit suicide. Yeah. We've had cases of uh, young boys who have uh, hanged themselves, young kids in school who are very depressed and in a dark place. Mm -hmm. And some of the things you've mentioned, I think most of them, not all, but most of them are um, relating to an adult, you know, lack of money, yeah. marriage is not yes, working. So yes. what pushes these teens and young kids yeah. to a point of depression? And Because mm. a parent may want to know, hey, how is my kid behaving nowadays? Should they go up? Yeah. Bullying in school. Mm. You need to sit with your child and find out what goes on in school. Yeah. We are too busy mm. as, as parents to even find out how, how was your day. Because yeah. so if something goes wrong in school mm. once, twice, and this child never tells you, yeah. by Friday they feel like it's a norm. Right. Oh. It's a norm. You know, I have no one to tell at home. The yeah. teachers are too busy. Mm. They are also overwhelmed by the right. number of students mm. that they have. Mm. So there's a lot going on in school. So there's the bullying uh, aspect. aspect yeah. There's the peer pressure mm -hmm. right. where you want to be like so-and-so. And, -so, yeah. and uh, where you're coming from, there's also the financial yeah. issue because ah. your parents cannot afford. Yes. Mm. And so you're being influenced. Yeah. Yeah. Let me say this. These things we are calling phones. Mm. Mm. I asked my daughter another day, who is your mentor? You know, and uh, she said, we go to TikTok, we look at those things, yeah. they learn. If there's one thing that is depressing, is spend so much time on phone. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> now it our teens are into tablets. Mm. Even in uh, lower grades, they are on phone. Mm. They even have Instagram. They are on TikTok. Who is teaching that child? Who is giving them, telling them now take time off mm. from the, the, the devices, right. from the TV? Mm -hmm. You That's see, true. so those are some of the things that will affect the young people. Mm -hmm. And of course, the pressure that comes with and trying to conform. Yes. With those influencers right in there, yeah. it looks yeah. like they're living their life. Then yeah. I, I, I agree with you. Yet, <laughs> yet when you go true. home, at a... Hey. Oh, totally it's opposite. Yeah, it's totally oh, opposite. Yeah. We take a short break. We'll be coming back later on after some music. We continue with Esther. Just trying to, to break it down. What are some of these things? But more importantly, where do we go to? How do we find help? All right, so don't go too far. Right here on KTN Home. Wali kuwa na hamu ya kujua wakati hasa wa kufunuliwa kwa ufambe wa Mungu lakini Yesu aliwaambia kwamba hawawezi kujua nyakati na majira hilo alikuwa jambo la maana zaidi kwa kujua 
wale paswa kupati kanda wake fata mwalimu wake yamba wake ngoja wake tazama na kufanya kazi wale paswa kwa wake leshi waone mwangu watabia ya Kristo wake wa mashahidi wa Yesu duniani